want you all to picture a spot in Hawaii where you would most likely visit if you're on a vacation. Now, chances are you'll be picturing uh, a scene depicted by TV shows like Saved by the Bell, Hawaiian style, or something like that. Well, I'm here today to show you that what you're picturing uh, is not what you could actually be experiencing in Hawaii. First things first, I'll be talking about what to expect from a truly Hawaiian vacation, and then I'll be explaining where you can actually find that. So first off, what should you look for when going to Hawaii? Obviously beaches, but when you take a flight to Hawaii, you'll be landing in Oahu, the main island where most of the bus business is. Here, it's the beaches are overcrowded, and there's not much to see. Uh, but is that it? No. In Hawaii, you could actually experience uh, hiking, um, volcano national parks, and waterfalls. So. When in Hawaii, you'll be act you actually want to visit the Big Island, which is called Hawaii. Here, you can find black sand beaches like Waipio Valley, or visit the Volcano National Parks, which has which is home to the most active volcano called Kilauea. Aside from volcanoes, you can actually walk through lava tubes, which are caves uh, formed by Blowing lava over time. Uh, so, in conclusion, if you really want a truly Hawaiian vacation, don't visit the main island of Oahu, but the biggest of all eight, the big island. Well, Nicole, do you have some uh, suggestions, advice, evaluation? Um, well, at first I didn't know where you were going, but then I under like started understanding like you were persuading us to go to like Hawaii or an island over there. So all this, just the longer speech and just stuff like that. You just seemed really nervous. I think that's why that kind of got you. So, yeah. Hang on just a sec. All right, Carl, I, I kind of feel like you have an introduction, <laughs> you know, and that you're really just getting to the uh, point of the speech when you get to the end of your speech. Uh, your speech is basically an argument for visiting the Big Island in Hawaii. That's, that's the goal. You know, when, you, when you go to Hawaii, don't just go to Oahu, which is the tourist spot. You should visit the Big Island. Okay, fine. And then you're done. <laughs> you know, you you listed you know, as you set up 
the idea of this, you listed a couple of the features that might be going there, but you're not doing anything to sell that idea. Um, I think the topic is a little questionable because it does sound more like an informative speech than a persuasive, but there is kind of a persuasive claim that you have there at the end. And that, like I said, I think that could be the beginning of a speech. But then you have to develop a speech from it, and you and you don't really have anything there. It's two and a half minutes of uh, setup and not much payoff. Uh, and I think most people are going to go, well, there's, you know, what is it that's so great about walking through the lava tunnel? I don't, you know, I don't know. You know, you, you've got to give us a give us a visualization. Find a story that somebody's written about it. Get the description out of the tourist guide and tell us, you know, what they said about uh, the amazing, you know, uh, spectacular vision that you get here. Uh, tell us about what the volcano national park entails and what goes on there. Uh, why is it that uh, Hawaii is the better island to go to? Just because it's less crowded, it doesn't have the businesses or the beaches better. I mean, fi find something that's going to make it compelling. So if you want to, if you want to use this as a topic, you got to find a way to build this up. As it is, it's you know, it, it just doesn't feel like there's much substance to it. And I think you know that too. I mean, it's just you do an okay job delivering. I, I did see a little bit of anxiety. Part of that's probably because you knew you didn't have a lot to talk about, uh, not just because you're... I don't think you're that intimidated talking to all of us. It's just I, I, I'm a little screwed because I don't have as much to talk about as I might have because uh, I think you've done better than that before. All right. Thank you.